Hi, welcome back fellow cloud foodies and enthusiasts. Get ready to tease your taste buds and geek out with us as we dive in on the fifth episode of our delicious world of cloud kitchen. Although every day I'm an AWS solutions architect at TTPSC, today I'm donning my virtual apron as your cloud top chef, ready to whip up a delectable storm of flavors infused with the finest tech and biz wizarding. So grab your forks and keyboards because it's time to savor the bits and bites in our next Cloud Kitchen adventure. What are we going to talk about today? Get ready to get to know something important. Today, we're gonna to talk about cloud strategy, governance, and landing zone, and their importance for your business without all the nitty gritty technical details. Cloud strategy is like your restaurant's menu with all the meals you want to serve. It describes the goals you want to reach in your cloud journey. Cloud governance is a set of rules and policies that you set up to keep your cloud environment in order. Same as you want to ensure that all your meals you serve in your restaurants are of the highest standards. Now picture a landing zone as a cozy booth in a bustling restaurant where your cloud projects find a safe and delightful spot to touch down. Much like a skilled head waiter, the landing zone guides your projects smoothly, ensuring that they are securely seated and ready to savor the cloud's delectable offerings. Landing zone in cloud computing is the foundation for a successful cloud migration or new cloud project launch. It serves as a blueprint for setting up a well-architected, secure, and scalable environment. Neglecting this crucial step can lead to an avalanche of issues. On the other hand, when landing zone is designed and implemented correctly, the benefits are immense. But relax for now, I will reveal it all later in this episode. Don't go anywhere and stay with us till the end. All right, let's slip the curtain on the topic of landing zone, the backbone of cloud success. Let's start with the basics. A cloud landing zone is a foundational framework and an environment that helps organizations establish and manage their cloud presence effectively. It provides a structured approach to deploying and operating workloads in the cloud, aligning with your organization's business and IT goals. Please note that cloud landing zone is sort of a main course of your cloud dinner. Before you get to it, you need to go through some other meals. An important starter in your cloud dinner is called cloud strategy to plan your goals and determine your needs. After the starter, you'll need to have a soup called cloud governance, where you set the rules and regulations for your cloud landing zone. Then finally, you can have your main course, the landing zone, which is an implementation of everything you have planned and designed in your cloud strategy and cloud governance. Neglecting these crucial foundations can spell disaster, leaving you stranded in a sea of misconfigurations and security pitfalls. So let's go through the order again. First, cloud strategy, set your goals. Second, cloud governance, set rules and policies for your cloud playground. Last, landing zone, implementation of your goals and rules set before. As the introduction to the topic is behind us, let's focus on the first important point of our checklist. Why taking care of a proper design and implementation of landing zone is crucial for cloud migration success and how to do it right. The first course on our menu is the cloud strategic alignment. Setting up the right cloud strategy will provide a strategic foundation for your organization to align your cloud initiatives with your overall business goals and objectives. It will enable your business to define a clear vision and strategy for leveraging the cloud effectively. Without a strategy in place, you might end up with chaos in your cloud environment, not knowing what to use, what to do, and where to look for benefits. In a more cloud kitchen term, with no strategy, you will find yourself eating steaks with a fish knife. Next, as a part of your cloud strategy, you need to think about your business transformation. Ultimately, planning and designing your cloud strategy that will lead you to implement the cloud landing zone perfectly will catalyze your business transformation. It will empower your organization to embrace digital innovation, optimize operations, and unlock new revenue streams. By leveraging the cloud's scalability, agility, and cost effectiveness, you can gain a competitive edge and drive growth in the digital era. Just remember, it is a transformation and evolution of your business, not a revolution. It needs to be handled appropriately. Otherwise, you will face protests and resistance. 
Another important part you need to consider in cloud strategy is scalability and agility. The ability to rapidly scale operations and respond quickly to changing market demands is a mandatory part of your cloud strategy. Using the provided flexibility and agility will allow you to innovate, experiment, and launch new products or services without significant upfront costs or infrastructure limitations. Just remember to clean up your cloud playground after your experiments. Why? Well, I think you would like to avoid unexpected costs from forgotten but triggered and active cloud resources. Now, it's time for another point on how to build a perfect cloud strategy that in the end will result in a perfect landing zone collaboration and innovation. You need to foster collaboration and innovation within organizations by providing a common platform and tools for teams to work together. This enables cross-functional teams to share resources, data and knowledge, accelerating the development and deployment of new solutions. It also opens up your business to data and functionality reusability. You won't have duplicated data and your teams won't have to reinvent the wheel and recreate services that can be shared. If you don't pay enough attention to this part, you will end up with the same data lying in many different places and several services consuming resources but doing the same or similar things. Now, to keep everything in check, we have cloud governance. When establishing cloud governance, remember about having a centralized governance framework that will help you to enforce policies, controls and standards across your cloud environment. It will allow you to consistently manage and monitor cloud resources to ensure compliance, security and operational efficiency. It is also very important to make sure you include other key people from different departments to take part in designing your cloud governance rules and policies. Otherwise, each team will configure their cloud resources in many different ways, which will cause organizational chaos and may not meet your business standards. Business continuity and disaster recovery are next on our list. A well-designed cloud strategy and governance must offer built-in business continuity and disaster recovery capabilities. Remember to use automated backup mechanisms, data replication and redundant infrastructure. This way, your critical systems and data will be protected in case a meteor hits the data center or something else causes an outage. Data center failures are rare, but they do happen. And I am sure you have heard of some bigger ones. For example, one of the most popular social network platforms. Well-prepared disaster recovery as a part of your landing zone can make you ready for any worst case scenario and keep your workloads up and running with happy and unaffected customers. Another equally significant point of cloud governance in landing zone is security and compliance. Security is a crucial concern for businesses when migrating to the cloud. A well-designed cloud governance and then implemented as a cloud landing zone facilitates the implementation of robust security measures such as identity and access management, encryption and compliance controls. It ensures that sensitive data is protected and regulatory requirements are met. Some may think that storing sensitive and confidential data in the cloud is less secure than keeping it in the house on local servers. They cannot be more wrong. Cloud provides with much better security on many levels, especially when you have a proper landing zone prepared. Now, we move on to cost optimization and management. Cloud Landing Zone, designed in accordance with the top technical art, will help you optimize your costs by providing mechanisms for resource provisioning, usage monitoring and cost control. It enables the right sizing of cloud infrastructure to optimize spending based on actual usage and demand patterns. This way, you will no longer have to pay for unutilized resources as long as you use scalable solutions. Be wary, not all of them are. Now, focusing more on the cloud landing zone parts, you will need to have good cloud environment creation and management. This involves creating, updating, monitoring and closing your cloud environments. You will want to automate it to a possible extent using tools such as cloud repositories, infrastructure as code and pipelines. You will also need to consider your shared network infrastructure and how each new environment will be connected and integrated with it. Next, we have shared resources, which is a big part of your cloud landing zone. 
You have cloud resources like shared network infrastructure, identity management, or logs that will be shared across all your cloud environments. A good landing zone will help you to keep those resources organized and secure, making sure no one is breaking them and your work will stay up and running. Finally, we have on our list enhanced customer experience. Cloud landing zones enable businesses to deliver a seamless and personalized customer experience by leveraging cloud native technologies and services. They provide the foundation for developing and deploying customer-centric applications, analytics, and AI solutions, driving customer satisfaction and loyalty. In restaurant terms, satisfied and well-fed customers leave higher tips and good reviews for others. How about skipping the proper landing zone creation stage or doing it quickly but inaccurately? It might be tempting to skip all that planning, strategy, governance, implementing the right landing zone and jump into the cloud unprepared. You will be the first to try and it will most likely end in chaos and destruction in your cloud environment. Usually, creating a complete landing zone for big organizations takes months or even years and requires having a very experienced in-house cloud team. If you and your business are new to the cloud technologies, do not worry. We know it can be overwhelming. It is always good to start with a very basic setup of landing zone and develop it gradually. You should have the same approach as you would with seasoning your meal that you don't want to overflavor. Start with a basic cloud strategy as a pinch of salt, then go with a standard and simple cloud governance as a pinch of pepper. Finally, add some chili as your landing zone, try your cloud meal and re-season until you reach the perfect cloud balance. If you don't have too many technically well-oriented people on board, a good idea is to use the support of an experienced cloud partner. A good cloud partner will understand your needs and help you create a cloud strategy, governance, and landing zone that will fit your business perfectly and will grow with your company. As we near the end of this delectable cloud kitchen adventure, let's take a moment to recap the savory journey we've embarked upon. Now, step into the realm of key takeaways and prepare to indulge in bite-sized nuggets. Before you start cooking, you need to plan your meal and do the shopping. Remember to start with a clear vision and set of objectives as your cloud strategy. This is the starter of your cloud migration dinner and will help you to follow your business strategy and reach desired outcomes. Then you have the soup as a first meal, which is cloud governance. It will be composed of rules and policies that will keep your cloud projects in check with your business requirements based on your cloud strategy. Finally, you have your main meal, which is Cloud Landing Zone. This is the implementation of your cloud governance with tools that will allow you to handle all your cloud needs. A lack of cooperation can ruin your cloud migration dinner. Be sure to involve key stakeholders from businesses, IT, security, and compliance teams. Their input is crucial for a well-rounded and effective cloud strategy. A proper cloud strategy will allow you to involve your business and embrace the latest digital innovations. By leveraging all that the cloud has to offer, you will gain a competitive edge and drive the growth of your business. You always need to know your cooking equipment. Be wary of technical limitations from cloud vendors and remember to consult third party and vendor architects about it. This way, you will avoid potential hiccups in your projects. A good restaurant always knows how to accommodate varying amounts of customers. When working on cloud governance, focus on solutions that are dynamic and allow for scalability and flexibility. Zero waste cooking is the way to go. Be sure to monitor and effectively utilize your cloud resources so that you, your costs cover your actual demand. Have a backup meal plan in case of a culinary disaster. Leverage built-in cloud capabilities for business continuity and disaster recovery. Cooking with friends is a great way to integrate and prepare your meal faster. Plan your cloud landing zone to enable cooperation between teams. Allow them to share resources, data, and knowledge to accelerate project development. Automate and manage your environments. 
The ideal landing zone needs to have tools to handle creating, updating, destroying and monitoring your cloud environments. I hope it will be wisdom to savor long after our culinary excursion concludes. And there you have it. We've reached the end of our Flavpro expedition through the world of cloud strategy, governance, landing zones, and the wonders of cloud technology. A heartful thank you to each and every one of you for joining us on this cloud adventure. I hope you've relished the knowledge and inspiration I've shared today and are eager to apply those insights to your own cloud kitchen creations. So, with gratitude and excitement to, for what's to come, I bid you farewell until our next rendezvous in the next episode of the Cloud Kitchen series. Bon appétit and may your cloud journey be nothing short of tech and biz project greatness. Once again, thank you for joining us today.